so welcome back to my channel again this time we are going to do the uh, grid lines yeah we are going to learn how to add grid lines so let's go straight to the point so we come to uh, scrapbooks yeah scrapbooks when you come to scrapbooks we have the um, you click here grid lines let's look for grid lines this are curve straight no contemporary tb contemporary so let's look let's take the tb contemporary you see uh column grid okay column grid now we have different types and different shapes so normally um i use the one with the squares this one are easy this one is circle no let's take the plane plane Colon grid. This one to circle. Um, simple sheriff. This it doesn't have. Um, where, 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 where? Okay, you let, let, let's use this one. Let's use this one, which is the colon grid. Okay, so colon grid A. When you pick it, it just appears in your SketchUp. Uh, um, what do you call it? SketchUp uh, model. No, 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 the layout model so you see it's too short so we are going to expand it but before we do that we let's move it to move layer move to layer grid okay grid lines yeah these are grid lines now our doors are not in the door okay oh lucky they are they are here we put them there so um <coughs> sorry it is short so let's um increase the size you double click you select or then you move it down to the end of the page normally i, I make it neat the like, uh, like like this then you click here to you expand to meet it so let's use the arrow key left arrow key to push it yeah this is it normally uh, you pick the b grid line b but i will use this one control drag put it here sorry um and then uh <laughs> oh sorry um yeah so b oh i could have done it a1 but uh b b will be okay b and then uh let's shift it down good so we hold control we click and then we drag it's not in the middle so put it in the middle you can find the middle too by just drawing a line you draw a line in between the two uh, uh, the block work and then you locate the as you uh, as you drag it will snap on it right there it snaps yeah okay or you can also pick the line from here to the top but always don't forget to delete the line you have uh, created okay uh-huh so there we go so delete delete oh no it's this one right now so delete it okay and then uh, we double click type c come here to oh good and then let's put it down then our last alphabet grid will be d so double click d you have to double click to get inside d okay so um, and then you do the same for this one too okay you you, you pick the horizontal grade so give it enough space mm, one so we expand you double click then you expand it let me expand it enough and then uh, push to the side yeah so that's that's one so shift two Let's locate the middle. Snap it, okay. And then we snap it, good. 
So this is two. Okay, so um, let's continue. Uh, here, let's draw this straight line. Then we pick the middle of it. Yeah, it snaps. You see, when you when you put it there, it snaps. Okay, then you draw the line. Click here. Good. So this one is um, grid line three. Three. Um. Okay, so um, this will be a uh, tutorial six. Okay, so okay, uh -huh, it's not then. Uh, sorry if I'm fast because I've been doing it all the time, so uh, I kind of move fast when I'm doing it. So um, let's do four, four. And then let's uh, okay. So this time I'm going to pick the line that I drew with uh, this model. So let's come straight here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be five. So in tutorial seven, we will learn how to dimension the grid lines okay which is even easy let me do it here already so since everything is in grid let's hide the grid lines so you can hide the grid lines okay i didn't put them in so let's click and hold control click or move to layer grid so they are already they all, they all disappear let's pick the dimension don't forget to click on the dimension too before you start so pick the middle to middle that's grid line one pick middle 2d like don't put it exactly just you know when you put it on it it snaps so when you move it follows you see then you click and drag so you just if it doesn't fall on the line you just click here and then you you know match it to it so so you, it snaps don't click it snaps when you when you see the red azzle or the red line you click do the same thing for this one see so this, this grid line four didn't go so you do the same thing do the same thing for this the dimension is not good so let's hide the uh, grid line four let's move to layer grid line four good gone so you click here the red line middle ten four six so there you go so this is our grid line so you do the same for the top and then the other side so let's activate our grid lines so you see yeah this is our uh plan this is how we lay uh, our plan so our next project i'm actually sending this to the client so if, if the client accepts the plan then uh, there will be an edit so anything i do i would record a video our next one will be the 3d we are going to put the the 2d on the 3d that's we are going to arrange the bed and other you know accessories to indicate um, or to make the video complete all right so thank you meet you in part seven all right thank you bye